Hey guys, it's Luigi on the beats, and on this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a new school type of Afro pop, like a Chris Beats type of song, a song like Pana by Techno, and any other new wave that um, Chris Beats has made. So I got a little bit of inspiration from Chris Beats and some other Nigerian producers, but that's not the point today because I'm gonna be showing you guys what I came up with. So let's go straight up to my DAW, which is FL Studio, and I'm gonna be walking you guys through it and how I made the whole thing. I I made it up. So first, I started with the snare. I actually it wasn't actually a snare, but it's the main snare of the song. It's just a normal pack. It's just a combination of about three percussions and a snare that was a little bit low. So let me play it for you guys. You know that's a normal Afro pop, um, new school Afro pop beat that everyone is making now. So you just uh, um, you have to add a little bit of creativity, and you know if you've got the passion for this, yeah, it's it's be quite easy for you. So after the snare, I added um this percussions to with the same pattern of the snare and a little bit of a clap in this clap I added a reverb which and it was very large it's a very large reverb you see, as you can see this is like the prototype of the kind of reverb that um, you'll be adding to the song I'm sorry to the pack that you are playing so <clears throat> I beg your pardon sorry about that so um I added this afro shake this then this um clap to with reverb so I reduced the volume of the clap to about half so let me play it yeah then uh, after that I went to the kick you know it's not like a normal kick of um not like like four kicks no not like that it's like a kick that is gonna come out like once and it's gonna like catch people's attention like yeah so I use a um, deep kick that would be very hard that would be very hard on um, loudspeakers and stuff you know so let me play the three um, patterns for you so Let's let's play. Yeah, so that's basically the basic like the what you actually need to get before you could start adding um your own stuff to the beats. This like the whole beats then you see I didn't even really remove anything. That's like the main pattern of the beat. So you're gonna start adding some little stuffs that you could um like like you can add tones you can add some congas and um, here i added a, a lot of melodies and it's not not a lot just quite a few of melodies then um i added this conga this one yeah on every eight bar and i added a delay for the conga so let me play the beat alongside the conga yeah so later on i added this um, one to like this kind of clubs You know to make it african you know it has, it has to be groovy then like to make it a lot more danceable so i added this one to like it's an 808 it's an 808 kick yeah i hope you guys are catching up things from like what i've been trying to explain i'm not really much of a good teacher though so yeah you should bear with me so this is um beat all together 
no not the pit altogether though like the ones i've um told you earlier so um this Yeah, so after that, I made these shakers. This is where the crease beats um, stuff came in. So this. Yeah, so, and you know, it makes it more African, more danceable and more enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically all then i added um this little row here it's like um it's kind of easy roll not it's not something that is like so complex like just a little bit of snare work with um reverb so let me play it to the row for you guys Yeah, so that's basically all then I did this yeah let's not forget I did this Chris B actually did something like this in pan in Pana so let me just play this for you yeah it's like a clap then I added reverb to the clap and a little bit of delay so let me play alongside the beats for you guys so it gives you that feeling that something like something a little bit different is about to come in yeah so and this rule also is a very common rule that Chris beats um like I don't want to say invented because it's just like let's just use the word invented because I got this rule from Chris beats songs like most of the songs generally have this kind of rule yeah so this so that's Chris like Chris beats rule is always something like um it's always something like this um sorry it's always something like this Chris for Chris beats it's always something like this so to make it not exactly like Chris beats but a little bit like Chris more like Chris beats kind of role so I added this to um like stuff here so that so it's like normal chris beats is like and then add some like you know afrobeat just have to be creative and manipulative you know so let me play the um drums alongside the two rows that i made so here they go Yeah, so that's basically all about the drums. Then I went to the um, to the melodies, the tones I used in the whole of the song. So first, I started with this. So let me play them together for you guys yeah so they're just simple tones that you could just think of anything that comes to you, you just play it down into your DW then I went to this Yeah, so most of the plugins I used for this um, were from RFX, Nexus, then Ravity, then Purity, like Luxonics Purity. Yeah, you're gonna see all those stuff there. So, this. Yeah, 
so after that I added this one also you know it's like the vamp um, used in um, Mad Over You by Run Town you know like there was this kind of vamp that was just there like so like But that's not actually using this, so it doesn't sound a lot like you know songs that were that have been earlier produced. So let me just play them all together. Yeah. So after that, I added. Um, Nothing more like the drums were still the same than this one. Let's see that. Yeah, that's like an 808 conga that I added, you know, just to make the just to add some groove to the chorus part of the song. You know, this like is gonna be the intro from here, it's gonna be the intro then. It's always mostly four bars, you know. So it's gonna be intro. Then this should be the chorus. So I you know the chorus has to be more danceable. You know, it's Afro pop. You know what I'm saying? So um, I added this uh, this little bit of eight to eight conga. Yeah, and this. So they're just they are just mainly congas with um reverb then yes to the parts they are just simple chords like if you know about piano you know more about chords i don't really know much about piano but you know anything that sounds well to me should be nice so let me just play the chords So that's the chord I added then so let me play it all for you basically all about the um the chorus then the first verse you know the verse has to be a little bit low key so that you'll be able to hear what the artist is saying so i added some um vox uh, here so i just played something that was not really necessary and stuff so like you could leave it that way but me I, I always like my song any song i produce to be full like you should have that vibe that this was made by a typical nigerian young boy so let me play the um first verse for you so that's basically all then you could start adding some external packs like to bring this kind of feeling that your, this song is starting this crash so that's like a signature move for me this crash and this kind of um, reverbed clap yeah that's kind of a signature move for me so um, my actual signature is um, it's Lil Chi and the beat baby <laughs> Yeah, it says it's Luigi on the beat, so you should get it like that. So let me just play the beat for you guys. The beat hasn't been made completely, so if you like this beat and you want to like buy it and maybe sing to it, you're an artist or you're a producer that likes the beat a lot, so you could just 
send me an email it will be right it will be right in my description then you could um follow me on instagram and send me a dm which i'll reply within um within minutes actually within minutes then you could um yeah that's basically all you could send me an email or you could follow me on instagram then like my my pictures and my videos on instagram then please and um, please kindly subscribe to my channel like comment below and share if you love what i'm doing and to keep to make me like um to give me a boost here like to give me a boost to continue doing to, to continue doing what i love doing best so i need you guys a lot so if you just subscribe to my channel then that's basically all so i'm gonna be playing the beats from the beginning to where i made it to then i'll be ending this tutorial please kindly subscribe to my channel to leave you on the beat sign out send me an email for the complete version as i've said earlier so just subscribe to my channel thank you very much so that's all